Okay, joined here at the Unicorn 2024 launch by Mr. Gary Anderson. Gary, we're, we're just to the side of the Grand Prix. Let's, uh, we didn't get a chance to speak to you after your second round. Let's just sum up that one for us. Yeah, played well in the first game, you know, second game. Andrew, I mean, I don't actually think Andrew Gilden played well at all as well, you know, but it's just one of the games. You know, I sort of struggled to stay in that hotel for about, I think, nine days I was in the hotel. Not good for me, you know, but, uh, nah, hey, listen, I'm playing well. Uh, well, was up to that point, but no, got back, shooting the practice board, and they're going all right again. So, yeah, listen, man. There's a there's a renewed vigor about you and your practice regime that, that it's been it's a hot topic. It does how much you practice around Ryan Searle. It was a thing for the last 18 months or two years, but this year you seem to have really stuck to it, and, and something's there to motivate you. Yeah, well, it was it was going well up to the start of the kids' holidays, and then I think they played about twice over the eight nine weeks. You know, so it was a a bit of a layoff in the holidays, but you know, I turned up at, I played well in Barnsley at the time before. Uh, just boys were taking massive finishes. I mean, not just the odd one, it was like three or four in the match. So, you know, it's, you, you, can't, you can't do nothing about it, but the Barnsley just passed, yeah, they were going well. You know, my, my averages were up, we double scored and my 180s were back. So, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, we're at the Unicorn launch. Interesting to see you move away from just a straight barrel. We've seen you tinker a little bit over the, the last few years, since, basically, since you, you started wearing your glasses, but these ones seem to be going pretty nicely for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, get, don't get me wrong, I love my straight barrel darts, you know, especially the noir ones. Uh, but I'm finding the straight barrels just sliding out my hand at the wrong time. Might be the right time for somebody else, but wrong time. And these have just got me normally about on the end, you know, it's just helping me push against that a bit better. So, and they're flying, like, if I throw them right, it's nothing to do with the darts, it's... The donut that's throwing them, you know, if they're, if they're thrown right, they're lovely and straight, you know, which is what I need now in a dart. Is that from weight a bit, just that little bit of a safety net for that bad dart, as you say? Because your action is, has been lauded as, as one of the best of all time when, when you're on it, but actually, if there is a bad dart in there, that little knob just seems to have when, that I, I security. I've a few point. times when I'm on it, my hand's high. I was doing it against, I watched back against when I played Andrew, my hand's down here. So it's that, that drop, you know, so if I drop like that, Good night, Vienna. You know, I need to keep my hand up high, but uh, no, it's, it's going good. You know, the throws, the throws feeling all right. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, interesting. The next few years, I think. Well, I was going to start with the next few months first up because it is the busy back end of of the season. Uh, do you see yourself picking up some some trophies or some silverware or something, or is it just take it as it comes? Take it as it comes. You know, I mean, I, I sit back and listen to all these boys. I'm going to do this. We're going to win that. I'm going to do that. Listen, just clear that. You know, if you're going to win, you're going to win. It's nothing worse than seeing you're going to and you don't, you know, so I've, I'm always a great believer. Just keep that zipped up and play your darts. And if your day's there, you're walking away with the title, you know, so. I mean, yeah. you, you said it yourself in Leicester, there's a few whispers going around that he's back and that people are, are starting to be scared a bit of Gary Anderson once again. I wouldn't say scared, but my averages, you know, for the last three years, you know, I was, I was lucky if I hit 100 average, you know, but I'm back playing well and it's all mid hundreds, high hundreds, so. Yeah, and it's, it's more consistent than what it was a, a few years ago. So, yeah, you know, if, if I'm playing well, it can be anything between 112, 106 to 112. So it takes some beating that, you know. So, yeah, yeah listen, I'm just going to keep playing. You know, if I can do it every day, great. Very much doubt it, though. But I can only try and give it a go. Yeah, indeed. I'll, I'll take you back to the next few years. And there's no retirement plans or anything on, on the horizon. It's, it's just straight through for you. Yeah, just straight through. When I stop annoying people, I might stop. <laughs> you know, but nah. I don't think you'll ever stop doing that. It's not in your nature. I said, I'm a, I love winding folk up. You know, it's, it's in my nature to wind people up and they bite every time, you know. So as long as they keep biting and that, I'll keep uh, plodding along. <laughs> You've thrown me there, but is it, is it just that coupled with the fact you seem to be enjoying it again and that you, you can walk into a venue now instead of 10 years ago and right, I've, I've got to go and win that games of darts now. Are you, are you in a position where the results aren't as important and that's freed you up a bit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've got my fishing lakes but I spend a hell of a lot of time at, you know, so I've got that, got the kids back and forth to school, football matches, horse riding, my darts. So it's not just like what was before, it was just darts, 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 darts. You know, it's uh, that wasn't going down too well with me, you know. I just couldn't keep it going. So now that I've got all different things going on. It's hectic, but I get away for the darts, sit down with White and the boys and have a, have a good laugh, you know, and that's what it's all about. If you don't have a good laugh, it's a, it's a hard game to play. Hot topic of conversation right now is the move to midweek Pro Tours. Obviously, you just said your life's hectic. Does, does that move free you up a bit more or not? You're professional dart players. You know, I know it's hard, but a long time ago, I gave up my work to push in at darts, you know, and it was a... 
you work, you play, uh, stop playing darts, or you have a shot at darts and give up work. So I've done it. You know, I mean, the, the way the sport's been over the, the last even five years, you know, the, m the money these lads can make and that, but it's, they've got to, to, yeah, it's a big ask because the, the, some of families, you know, they've not got that guaranteed wage. It's a bit of pressure on, but then you'll get the boys that will come through that will thrive on it. I mean, Luke Humphreys, see how he's done the, the last couple of years, you know, and I did say that, didn't I? I said between Chizzy and Luke Humphreys for an outsider, he'd been right. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it is a big push, but it's a PDC for a reason, you know, so in my eyes we should be playing Monday to Friday. That's your, your normal job thing, so, yeah. I mean, you, you touched on Luke, the most recent new first-time major winner. Let, let's throw you back to Exeter a couple of years ago where he was a contender in the Premier League, the first one to beat a player uh, in that. That might have been yourself. Oh, uh, Exeter. But, oh, yeah. Exeter. <laughs> but uh, is, is it nice to see that there's a new generation coming through? You've been around an awful long time. It, it, the, the sport's in safe hands yeah. if and when you stop winding people up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great watching these boys playing. You know, you've got your favourites, but now again, like I said... He classed him as an outsider, but he's not really an outsider. Same with Chizzy, the way Chizzy's been playing lately, you know. You've got your, your top four that we all talk about, and these boys kind of get look, uh, overlooked. But uh, the way these guys are playing darts now, you can't overlook anybody. You know, it's it's, it's good. It's good. Change, it changes the faces and the trophies, you know. It does, and, and speaking of changing the faces, next year, Premier League announcement, we've already had more World Series events. Are you eyeing up a return to any of those, or are you happy with the fact we've actually seen you on a Euro Tour for the first time in a decade? Well, a few, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, enjoy the European Tours. Like I say, it's been a while. Uh, Premier League, you know what? I think I'm at the age now. I've done it, got the T-shirt. Thank you very much, but no. You know, so... I'm happy what I'm doing, you know, if I play the Europeans or whatever Europeans I can qualify and do my pro tours, I'm happy as Larry. Yeah, perfect. And look, it's the busiest time of the year. It's the best time of the year to be a darts fan. Just one word to sum up how you're feeling between now and Christmas. Ask me after January the 1st. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Well, thank you very much, Harry. I'll see you soon. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you.